In this video, we're going to show installing Energy Shield Pro and treating it as the weather resistive barrier for the building. This reduces complexity and speeds up install times by removing the need for a secondary weather resistive barrier at the sheathing line. Today, we're going to be taping the seams in our Energy Shield Pro. There are a number of tested and approved tapes, and check out our website for information on those. Today, we've chosen to use 3M All Weather 8067. Whenever we're taping our WRB, we want to start at the bottom of the wall and work up. We want to make sure that our tape laps over the one below it in shingle style fashion. Before applying any of our tape, we want to make sure that our surface is clean and dry and dust free from any cutting or job site debris. When we're doing our outside corners, we want to make sure to choose a tape that's wide enough to cover all the way over our fasteners on both sides. After our seams are taped, we have to come back and make sure that we seal all of our washers. We need to provide at least one inch in all directions on either side of the washer of an applicable flashing tape. Thanks for joining us on our video about detailing Energy Shield Pro as a weather resistive barrier on the outside of your building. Check out atlasrwi.com for further specs and details and our other videos as well on the subject.